I'd do it all over again to get here. Luck is the first film produced at Skydance Animation under the stewardship of new head of animation John Lasseter. In a melancholy opening, the movie introduces Sam, even Oblazada's voice, an orphan living in a foster home who never met her forever family. She also appears to be the unluckiest person to have ever lived, as evidenced by her incredible clumsiness and ongoing, disabling misfortune. Sam aspires for greater luck for fellow orphan Hazel, voiced by Aidlin Spoon, her diminutive roommate and capable little sister, as she turns 18 and embarks on an independent life. Although the setup is delightfully pitched, it is extremely schmaltzy. Your tolerance for this amount of cheese may vary. Let's see if I've still got it. Does Sam bring back a lucky penny for Hazel? Sam does not bring Hazel a lucky cent when he returns. Sam and Bob decide to use Jerry, a leprechaun friend of Bob's, to find the penny that Sam lost when their initial scheme to obtain a cent from the penny depot fails. Lucky pennies haven't gone missing in 10 years thanks to the captain, Whoopi Goldberg, who took over from the bunny drone in the past when a penny got misplaced. The penny is successfully recovered by the drone, but it eventually finds its way back into use in the penny depot. In the land of luck, goblins and roots produce bad luck, while magical pigs produce good luck crystals. The crystals are then broken apart and combined with the substance that brings bad luck before being delivered through the luck lines to the human realm. This device is known as the randomizer. Sam eventually comes to the conclusion that she can always clog Jeff the unicorn's bad luck mixer machine to stop the flow of bad luck if she can't make Hazel's good luck come back. This results in a difficulty, as is almost expected. The mixer machine overflows and explodes, the randomizer stops functioning, and the land of luck is disconnected from the human world. Deeply repentant for her actions, Sam retrieves some good luck from the bad luck land and convinces Babe the Dragon that the world needs both good and bad luck to restart the randomizer. Does Hazel find a forever home? I can't let you place two good luck stones. Nonsense. Yes, Hazel finds a forever home, and so does Sam. Hazel's adoption goes through. After helping Sam re-establish the connection between the human world and the land of luck, Bob decides that he wants to spend the rest of his days with Sam. A year later, we find that Hazel now lives with her adoptive parents. She visits Sam and Bob's apartment for a sleepover. Sam's bad luck is still very much a part of her life, but she has molded her life around it. Sam now knows that good and bad luck are just mirror images of each other. One can only exist if the other does. The ultimate message of the film feels slightly confused, it wants us to embrace the randomness of life, bad luck can be good sometimes, is what we're encouraged to think, without really pondering how much of life is actually driven by choice and personal responsibility. But if you can stomach the wobbly lessons, the sometimes clunky writing, and the offensively bad Irish accents, this is a perfectly fine thing to pop your kid in front of for a couple of hours. John Lasseter's first Skydance entry doesn't come close to Pikeser in its pomp, but it has enough imaginative animation and dancing bunnies to at least keep tiny people engaged.